Hey everyone, today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and run custom Call of Duty World at War zombie maps. First of all, what you want to do is open up your web browser such as Firefox and then type in World at War custom zombie maps. The first thing that should pop up is Call of Duty World at War custom and zombie maps 250 plus. This is forum.i3d.net. This is where I usually get all of my custom zombie maps. As you can see, they have custom map servers where you can actually play online with people, um, single player or co-op maps, multiplayer maps, and lastly, zombie maps. That's what we're here for. Um, we, there's plenty to choose from, so your variety won't be short. It'll be pretty long. Um, they're all pretty fun maps, but for this video, we're going to download District 19. I've already played District 19. It's a very well-built zombie map. Um, after you click on it, you can click download here. It'll take you to a third web page. But before anything, you have to have an account, as you guys can see right here. I have already made my account so I can download um, custom zombie maps as many as I want. This file is 97.38 megabytes, so it will take a couple seconds to download. After you've made your account, it'll bring you back to this page, and then you can click download. It'll take you to a fourth tab, but on this tab, it's going to actually tell you to save the file. For purposes of this video, I want to keep it a little shorter, so I already downloaded the maps. Um, what you do after you download the maps is close your web browser, go to your downloads or wherever you place the folder at, and then you should have a RAR file, but then right click and extract here and you should end up with this folder. It should say Nazi underscore zombie underscore district 19 underscore version 1.4. After you do that, go to my computer, then go to local disk C, or whatever local disk you install your game to, and then go to your program files. This is going to be for the Steam version, but it also works for the retail copy. Um, I go all the way down, click on Steam, go to Steam Apps, common and then call of duty world at war if you installed it off a retail disc you will just have call of duty world at war right on your c drive and after that you can go to mods if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and make one just right click and then type in mods for me since i already have one i just click on it and drag in the file after the file is done copying over you're pretty much good to go all you have to do now is run your call of duty world at war game all right now that you, you opened up your Call of Duty World at War game, what you want to do is sign in and then click on this tab called Mods. After you do that, you'll see all of your modded maps, such as zombie maps, in this little section right here. What you want to do is click on District 19 and then your screen will go blank and go to your desktop, but then it will, it will reappear. Once it's reappeared, you will see that the main menu has changed a little bit. It now says Play District 19 Solo. I did this map specifically because not all zombie maps have this little option right here. And for those that don't, you have to do the console command. And the console command is open by clicking the number next to your number next to the number one on your keyboard, which is a little squiggly line. After you do that, after you do that you'll see that it shows Call of Duty World at War up in the top corner. And what you have to type in is forward slash map space Nazi underscore zombie underscore and this is where you put in the name of the map and for this one is District 19. Make sure you spell it correctly or else it won't work. Once you have this, you can go ahead and click enter and it will start launching the map. The map will take a few seconds to load but once it's done, the game will start and you can play your custom Nazi zombie map. Now that the map is done loading, you can proceed to play your brand new custom built Nazi zombie world at war map. This map is a pretty good map, it's big, it's got guns on the wall, it's got everything you need for a good formula map. It's got guns on the wall, the box of course, it's got perks, and lastly it's got teleporters and I'm almost positive it has a pack of punch machine. I've only played this map one time so I'm not positive where everything's at and what it has and what it doesn't have. But from the one time I played it, it's really fun and it's big so you won't get bored with the map. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to put a custom Nazi zombie map in Call of Duty World at War. I'm going to just show you a couple of clips of the map so you guys can get the feel for it and I'm going to try to add some epic background music. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys later.